All right. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, so, finally caught up a little bit. Uh, figure I'd do my videos before the rest of the day basically starts. And, and then after I finish these videos, uh, I still feel like groggy and stuff. You know, I definitely got to exercise and go for my walk. It's another nice day today. So anyway, today's a kind of chill, slowish day. Uh, you know, as usual, look at the latest launches. You know, I still want to cover some more Titano forks, but I think for the time being, people are much more obsessed with Seifu forks, which I'm not too thrilled with. All right, because again, I really think that after one year, when the APR drops on them. You know, because I know this from previous experience doing proof of stake 1.0 from, from way back when, many years ago at this point. It always drops. It never goes up. So, but then again, it's a little different now because you got more infrastructure. You got better blockchain tech. Everything's much easier. And of course, you have the taxation system. We didn't have any of that back then. So, I don't know. I'm kind of iffy about it. You know, but with that being said, you know, I'll still keep, I'll still try to keep an eye out for good Titano forks. Now, of course, if you have any, uh, I mean, you can try suggesting in the YouTube comments. I don't actually get to all the comments, so the best way for now is to go through my Twitter, because there's no engagement, so I always check, uh, so I can always see everyone, which is why you should go on my Twitter. It's in the description, and of course, you know, you can see it in the lower left corner of your screen, where it, you know, it eventually uh, shows my stupid Twitter handle. Alright, <clears throat> so anyway, we got two Tomb Forks today. I thought... Uh, before we get to Printer Financial again, because now they've expanded the Kronos, uh, we can do something a little similar first. You know, plus they got this, uh, they got a really funny looking website called Burr Finance, right? If you're familiar with that uh, central bank meme about Burr, make the money printer go Burr, that's exactly what this is. So this one is actually kind of nice because it's actually paid to uh, a stable coin, Binance Dollars. So already this is looking pretty good to me. Uh, but I think they, the, the LP pulls just went live, so we should. So it's been at least another 12 hours since I saw this on uh, WTF or XYZ here. Let's see, because it was actually a featured project. So all they have is a KYC, and of course they're on Binance Smart Chain because you know they have to use Binance dollars. So right now it's actually apparently 2.86 above peg. So let's take a look real quick at the charts. Yeah, this thing is about one week old, so that's good. Uh, and it's the whole thing. And it did say somewhere in the documentation they want to maintain a peg actually around $3. Uh, so yeah, this is looking all right. So it's basically what they want. And of course, the uh, printer shares, all right, the Burr shares. Uh, let's do one hour here. Uh, they look actually surprisingly stable, around a little under 400 bucks. So basically, this is a, this is already like a better version of Great Finance, but they're just obviously new, so their TVL isn't as big yet. But still very good, 210,000. So yeah, this could be really good, especially if you want stable coin farming. Like I actually wanted something like this too. So all right, so right now your daily APR, which is nice and convenient, is 10.32%. And then, of course, the share LP pool is 18.24%. However, I think I did already check for Smart APR, and I believe they are using it. But I didn't, no, I'm confusing with a different project that does not use it. So we're going to have to check. Well, I have the documentation page open, but let me just eyeball this anyway. Uh, okay, so 101.70k TVL. So if we doubled this, so they're pretty, so the rewards are very similar. So we do need to check to see if they've got something here. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah do, do, do. Okay, that's not it. Don't care about that. Hmm. Okay, you're stuck in the boardroom for 24 hours. Of course, you have to wait 12 hours to claim. Of course, there's no info about... Okay, so maybe I didn't actually confuse it. Okay, so these guys are technically not using a smart APR system, but it's exactly even. I believe this is the first project I've ever seen where they actually give out the exact same even rewards. So just bear that in mind. And of course, they don't say what the boardroom is printing at. So I don't know what their inflation rate is. 
But if they don't mention it, I'm going to have to assume that's 4.5% because that's the default for all tomb forks. And of course, this is distributed over uh, six days. So you could probably take a look at this if you want. I mean, the price action looks okay, but because I don't see them using the smart APR system, I'm personally not going to do this. All right, especially since I know it's not smart APR system and it's above peg by quite a bit. All right, almost 3x, which is what they did say somewhere in their documentation page, somewhere that they want to keep it at 3.0. Right, so. Okay, I mean, obviously they do what they want, but, you know, I already know what works and does not, all right? So, again, I've never seen a project that does exactly the same rewards for both pools, right? But, I mean, I don't know. I like to see more overweight towards the peg, because when you go below peg, you really need those extra rewards going to the peg liquidity pool so that, you know, you can get back to peg faster. Just look at Apex Finance, for example. They've been around for a while, right? I did a video on them a while ago. They're still they're still hanging in there, right? And the reason is because, right? Let me revisit their website. The reason because, uh, I mean, they do have a very nice whatever here, and their market cap looks pretty good. And look, their TVL is actually going up. It used to be fifty five k, now it's four hundred thousand. All right, this is why. All right, this is basically why. All right. They overweight their rewards here. Now, the daily APR doesn't look correct, but that's probably because everyone is literally putting all their money. Well, I guess we could take a look. 68,000, because they could have adjusted the pools. 7,000, yeah. So, see, they are using smart APR system. It's just that nobody's in the shares right now. All right. And then the vast majority of all the money on this website is in the st single staking pool. All right. So that's why, you know, they're able to reach peg fairly decently. Right now, they're right below peg. Yeah, because Phantom keeps going up. So, yeah, I definitely like the idea of having a much lower peg threshold. Because if I, if this was tied to 0 0.1 Phantom instead of 1 Phantom, these shares would already be $100, $200. Or $300, because that's what peg... That's why I'm very interested in peg maker, because they're the first to actually try 0 0.1 Phantom peg. So I actually want to see what the real price of your shares are going to be. So anyway, but whatever it is, you know, Apex is doing all right. I just wish that the APR was higher, but I mean, it's it's low because the the shares are low. But it does look like now that Bitcoin's about basically hit forty three grand last night when I was asleep, and crypto's going up because the Federal Reserve yesterday finally admitted inflation's out of control and they have to raise height uh raise rates uh aggressively quote unquote right that's why bond yields are spiking that's why the markets are kind of like shit and right now they're actually pretty stale because they the markets are pricing in another 25 to 50 uh 50 basis points interest rate hike in may right so that hit the uh that hit all the markets including crypto a bit and now people realize oh not so bad now right they priced it all in and now we're going back up consistently uh <coughs> hopefully you know but anyway, that's the power of the smart APR system. So that's why I'm just like, yeah, whatever, right? So anyway, you can check this out. I'm going to keep this, uh, what? Oh, i got to switch networks again. And I'm going to keep this video short. Uh, I guess the next video will be pretty short because nowadays there's not really much to say with the tube forks, right? And this looks like a standard tube fork. Not using a smart APR system, and I will not be doing this. But with that being said, I mean, it looks pretty legit, and, you know, it's probably an okay project, right? I mean, 210 grand t TVL can't be wrong, right? Actually, they can be, right? But you know me, I really need the safety, right? Because trust me, like, when everything goes back down and corrects like they always do, you really need that margin of safety. Otherwise, your project gets taken out, you know? And then you might have a pulse Dow situation where the developers just... You know, they just get angry and rug pull, right? And, and, and because they can't handle, you know, sh shitty prices, right? Apex Finance was able to handle it, which is why I like them so much, right? And thank God. And, they were, and their efforts are being rewarded, right? It'll just be a matter of time, any any hour now, that they'll maintain above being peg, and that'll be that, right? And, and, and then, you know, it'll, it'll be worth, uh, it'll be a very nice cash cow for me again. So anyway, check out Printer Financial, or Printer Financial, Burr Finance, all right, because they're literally all, God, they're all basically the same. It's so funny. Um, 
As usual, I would definitely avoid the shares because you're going to go from basically $400 to like 20 bucks, right? That's a big risk. And then the safer bet is obviously the cash or peg to base peg token, right? So, I don't know. It's up to you, obviously, but there is a reason why. Well, I guess that's not too much. I was confusing it with uh, Apex. But, I mean, there's always a reason why the TVL is always greater in the base peg, you know, LP pool, which is what it's supposed to be doing. So, it's up to you what you want. You obviously can see that the reward shares are the same. So, you know, decide what you want to do. But I'm not going to invest in this. I'm already pretty happy with Peg Maker any day now. The They're testing, they're still testing the new contract. So, whenever that comes out. Hopefully, Caesar Finance freaking, they, I mean, I checked their Discord. They said... Uh, one of the devs has in real life stuff, so he's not going to be active as much in the Discord, and they're they're hardcore working on the audit and the website update before they do the marketing, so it really sucks. So Caesar's just going to be lagging behind for a while, but in the meantime, you know, whatever, it's a good time to keep accumulating, and it's still actually twice the price, a little more than twice the price that I bought it at, all right, because my average cost for Caesar is somewhere around like sub 15 cents sub 16 cents so basically i'm still 2x up but obviously i want way more than that you know so anyway i'll see you in the next video it's going to be uh the chronos version of printer financial like those guys are going ham it's like they're they're actually the one good tomb fork that's like literally everywhere all right and because they're not pegged to anything then the shares are always worth something so again i hope more people figure out you know don't peg your token so much just just set it to something really small. Then, then you, it's like they, you should just not have a peg, all right? Just, just don't have the peg, or set it to something so small that you'll always be above peg. Uh, oh well, I don't know. What are you gonna do, right? Oh, I have to say before I go, yeah, I really like their icons, right? It's, it's very nice and animated, right? You got the spinning little money Bitcoin thing looking thing, and of course you got the printer icon. It's, <laughs> I really like this. I really like this. You see the red dot. It's like, oh, that's so cool. And look, the TVL just went up. Now it's almost 211K. All right. Like, subscribe, share the video. We've been growing. So thank you to all the new people that are here. All right. You just subscribed. So uh, welcome, welcome. You're in for a treat. Well, we're all going to be in for a treat, hopefully. Uh, and oh, before I go, there is one thing. In my last tweet, I actually said... That the way that Bitcoin, I still love this picture so much. I am going to be looking into this again. Because I did say that the four-year pump and dump Bitcoin cycle is over. But it started to really look exactly what it was doing in 2017. So I remember exactly what to look for. So, you know, I'm going to be, I'm going to be keeping tabs on that. All right. I'm going to be keeping tabs on this. This is what I want. Wow. Uh, that cannot be correct. What? No, that doesn't look right. How could it be zero? Holy shit, it really is at zero. Okay. Alright, well, uh, <laughs> this is extremely bullish. This basically literally means Bitcoin's gonna be like three, four hundred k before these normie idiots go, okay, I need to get into crypto. But that's kind of the problem, right? Because we got multiple conflicting problems. Yeah, buy Bitcoin's also zero. Okay, so this is not a glitch. This is not a glitch. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, we're just going to make a lot. All right. Well, I'm definitely going to keep tabs on this because, again, you know, things are different now than they were in 2017. But, you know, again, if I see this, right? See where our mouse is. If I see this, Th then, then we're going to have to actually start changing our strategy up a little bit. But the problem is we still have to worry about the debt market, right? <sighs> and Greg says crypto is going to go much higher, and I don't want to be taking trades against him because his, his, his success rate is basically somewhere around like 95%. So there's a 95 So I go against him, I only have a 5% chance of being right, right? By, you know, saying, hey, you know, we should start exiting some crypto positions. Now, then again, he was smart enough to also dump, too, right before 2017 uh, exploded. But he dumped a lot earlier. So, I don't know. We're just going to take, we're just gonna have to take a day at a time. And I'll obviously keep you informed. But we were, we're def I'm definitely going to keep an eye on this. But for now. But I didn't, ex I didn't actually expect this. So, I could probably check back, like, every w well, one or two weeks. As long as Bitcoin keeps going up, right? Because 
The more that Bitcoin goes up, eventually you'll see this, right? Go back up too, all right? It's just a matter of fear, greed, and FUD, all right? Retail normies are completely out of the game, right? They're completely out of the game. So that's the perfect time for crypto to go straight up, all right? Because you always, you never want to follow the herd, right? You want to do the opposite of what the herd does. You'll sometimes be wrong, but at least you won't be stuck like, you know, what's going on in Ukraine and Russia, right? Like a lot, a lot of people are getting fucked over over there right now, right? So, you know, I don't want to be, you don't want to be in a situation like that. Also, man, look at Ethereum go off. Cardano's coming back. Yeah, crypto is really going insane. I don't know why the icons for the crypto is like so stretched out horizontally. It's like a little weird looking. So where is worthless, useless idiot phantom? All right, dollar thirty-one. All right, good. Very, very good. All right, see you all uh, next video. Uh, printer Financial Kronos version. Thanks.